Hey everyone and welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to do a deep dive guide and break down the new Bocek bow and all its perks and quirks. We're going to start with the basics and delve into more advanced tips and how you can practice and improve your aim because this is definitely a high skill ceiling weapon that is strong and incredibly rewarding in many different ways. The Bocek bow is not only the newest gun or quote unquote gun, let's say weapon on Apex Legends Season 9 Legacy, but it brings a whole new ammo type and brings along with it attachment with two new hop-ups. The Bocek bow is a floor loot gun and so is its ammo. With the bow, naturally there is no reload. The more you pull back on the bow, the more damage you do. This is capped though once you get its maximum damage. The max damage it does is 123 as a headshot, no helmet, and 70 to the chest. If you spam the shot, it does 31 as a headshot, no helmet, and 25 to the chest. Remember, headshot damage is reduced the higher level the helmet is. What is interesting with the bow is the ammo and how it works. If you miss your shots and are firing close range, those arrows will stay stuck on the ground. These can be picked up by simply walking over them. Remember this goes for everyone. If you're looking to grab other resources, it can be a good thing and a bad thing. Just utilize this knowledge to its fullest extent. The bow's audio is very quiet and can be very hard to decipher where you're being shot from. Once you're hit, it gets easier to tell where you're being shot from. This is the ultimate power of the bow. I mean, you don't necessarily get the luxury of time when you're getting shot, but you can see where the arrow is stuck and break down like Sherlock Holmes where you're being shot from. I tested this in a live server and shot over 150 arrows at a rock to see what would occur. All 150 arrows did get stuck, but you really only picked up around 50 to 70 at a time. Then they respawn on top of each other and you walked over them and picked up another large group of arrows. There is no limit of who can pick them up. It can be you, teammates, or your enemies. Remember, if you miss, you are providing ammo to your enemy. Ammo can be crafted if you have a bow in hand. If your teammate is also using a bow, you can farm that ammo type. Just make sure you are holding both of the bows. There is so much potential here and you can also replace quite a few of the sights. You can add a hollow, a 1x HCOG, a 1x2, a 2x, and a 3x. The sight is a lot smaller than your normal zoom and is very specific to the bow. You cannot place any other sights or even a 2x4 on the bow. The velocity of the bow is quite slow, and your movement when you ADS is 147.48 movement decibels. When pulled back and ready to fire, it's 86.75 movement decibels. What is insane is how great the hip fire is. The hip fire accuracy is really good, but the minute you move, you pretty much lose all that accuracy, so just know that it's potential when taking shots. You can even shoot while on zips, as you would with any normal gun, but let us break down as we continue to wrap up here, the best hop-ups for the bow. Deadeye's Tempo. This brings the skill ceiling and reward of the bow. When you shoot, you need to wait for the blue indicator to light up and time your next shot perfectly. As you keep doing so, you increase your rate of fire and momentum. Practice this in the range and keep firing to get a feel for the momentum and memorize when you need to shoot. A simple exercise is to keep switching between static targets in the test range. Initially holding both mouse one or both triggers on the controller is going to feel really odd initially, but if you keep practicing, you'll find your element and it'll start to click over time. The next hop up is scatter caps. This turns the bow check into a mini shotgun and provides a nice cone of damage. Is not very strong at long range, but effective at close range. It gives you some versatility. Similar to the bow, you can charge it up and it does more damage. Max damage it does is 98 as a headshot, no helmet, and 77 to the chest. Remember, as you don't land all your shots and you're further away, this damage is a lot lower. If you spam the shot and you're at point blank range, it's 35 as a headshot, no helmet, and 28 to the chest. The biggest thing also with the scatter caps is that arrows cannot be picked up off the ground. It still utilizes one arrow, but you lose the ability to recoup them. The bow is a skill can is going to be either super overpowered or underwhelming depending on who uses it. For newcomers, this is this will feel overwhelming. When playtesting in the right hands, it just has the right punch. It's really strong. The biggest thing is the audio and where you're being shot from really adds to the hunter aspect of this weapon. So let's talk about how you practice and we'll wrap up the video. With its low velocity, you really need to keep shooting longer distances. This has a low velocity to practice shooting at targets from various ranges. Also, staying calm under pressure is key. You need to charge your shot and time when you engage. If someone's pushing hard, you're most likely going to be losing that fight. Getting the jump, closing the gap, and putting pressure is where the bow really succeeds. If somebody runs up at you with an SMG or LMG, and unless you're landing headshots, you're most likely going to be going down. 
Now, real quick, as a reminder, even in Season 9, Legacy of Apex Legend, you can still turn on the bots and practice this close range pressure. Because of the velocity of the bow, it will still feel a bit awkward taking your initial shots. Don't get discouraged if you pick this up and you just don't perform well. Go into the test range, adapt, get comfortable, because this weapon does have value, and in time, you're just going to see how strong it really is. We'll see as the rest of the player utilizes this weapon, just ultimately where it's going to sit into the tier list. From what you've seen, what are your thoughts? We're, we overall have a really exciting weapon that's going to change up the meta, new mechanics, new hop-ups, and new ammo type. So get out there. Let me know what you think. Are you excited about this bow? Leave a comment down below. Don't forget to leave a like, comment, and subscribe. Really appreciate all of your support and hope you enjoyed today's video. And I'll see you guys all in the next one.